content. You know, this, this podcast is a gumbo. You know what I'm saying? We talk about video games. We talk about uh, the TV shows. We talk about comic books. You know what I'm saying? This is that gumbo po- um, podcast for all the geeks and nerds. We all mix together. That's why it's mutants and meta humans. So when I want to say, um, you know, PlayStation and Xbox, Marvel and DC, we doing all this here. So they had this one in particular title that's an Xbox exclusive. They getting a, a lot of people that's hating on it. They got a people that's bought on fanboy and they just liking it just because it's a console exclusive and then you have your people that's in the middle you know the people that generally just like crackdown because it's a fun game and the people that just don't like crackdown because that's not their type of game you got all different type of gamers and the one other thing too i want to say yes you can have lobbies and pick my um like with all uh, and play with your friends so Y'all, whoever, um, everybody that's thinking that does, the sky is not falling, Chicken Little. The sky is not falling. So, um, <clears throat> let me go ahead and get um get into my panel, and uh, I want to get their thoughts on this here. See, see if they played it all, or do um, are they interested in playing it and stuff like that? And hopefully, we'll get a different angle and a different view because it's a vibration podcast. We bring it to y'all from a whole completely different angle. So, uh, say flip money, man. I, I seen that you had the opportunity to play Crackdown, you know what I'm saying? Is, is that a game that you say, hey, you want to try it out for yourself, see what you think about it, and why? What you think? I mean, I, I had played it, uh, uh, the, uh, the last few Crackdown games that came out in the past or whatever, but, I mean, me playing it, I like it for just what it is, man. Just to have fun and shoot it up with your homies and stuff like that. Do I um, do I like the, the fact of the cloud destruction or whatever? Yeah. The game was pretty cool, whatever. Now, the only thing about that I don't like about this game is I was getting my, I was getting the business handed to. They, they, they was lighting me up. They were double teaming me like I don't know what. I was in there on my own, a lonely soldier. I felt like I was playing GTA again, and so no one had helped me and stuff. I mean, you know, other than that, the game was, the game was good, man. I mean, you know, most people who talk bad about the game, let's let's keep it honest. People who talk bad about games that they can't have or whatever. They mad because it's not on their platform of choice. When I mean, they can just easily, if you can afford it, you can just easily go out there and buy the Xbox, PlayStation, whatever, and go here and rock out with it instead of just talking bad about it. And you're right. Some people are just going crazy because it's an exclusive and don't support it. Don't 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 be one of the people that want to talk about a game and you don't like it and you're not going. You know, you just hyping it up because for it, for it to be an exclusive. And you don't like that type of game or whatever, don't do that. Just 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 keep it real with yourself, man. Just keep if it. You real. like it, you like it. Hey, so what you think about the shell shading? The um the oh, I got a problem. Style. So, it's a comic book game. Like, come on. Like it is it, it, it's, it's always been what it's just supposed to be. Like a like a comic book, whatever. So I mean, I don't have a problem with it. I always say with with most games that's out there, whatever. It, some games with me never really have to look graphically enhanced or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Some games never have to look like that to me or whatever. As long as they act like act realistic or it's a fun game to me, and I'm cool with it because I understand everybody like different types of games or whatever. So you know. Right. I mean, that, that makes sense. So, uh, but do you think it, even though they went with the shell Satan uh, art style, do it look beautiful? Do it look um, like it still could be eye candy? Because you had the opportunity to get your face. It, you didn't see it through no um, no Instagram. You didn't see it through no YouTube. You was actually to um, play this game on your television, seeing it, um, seeing it in full effect with its full glory. So um, it, 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 the, with the shell say, do it still look beautiful? Yeah, it still look good. It look good. I mean, like, okay, let's look at Mario. We 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 got Mario. No matter how advanced, you know, the next console come out, they make Mario, the the you know, Metro, so forth, and so forth. They still look beautiful. They still shaded. Right. To me, the Wind Waker was the best looking Mario game that I've seen. Cause it was something. Look at the look, look at the colorization. Look at the water look. It's like a live like a live cartoon. I'm like, yo, this thing looks nice or whatever. So it, it, that's no different from that. So if you can play Mario or or Zelda, you can play Crackdown. Same thing, right? It, it kind of give you that same type of feel where the um, you know, it, the it's the it's the art style that they went with, and I and I kind of like like it because it's still beautiful. It, I mean, to me, 
is like the the details of the type of art style because you know they have different just types of art style that one not that'll make one better than another one because one could be photorealistic and one could have its own animation style like you know just it could be different but you know what i'm saying that what well, i'm with that what about the movement and the way that the flowing like it like was it flowing and the other thing that i really want to know is that the movement and what i've been hearing a lot about is the lock on system you know what i'm saying do you like the lock on system do you dislike it or and do it make sense the way they implement it because they have to have it in there for a reason well, I mean, well, with a lot of games, you always want to improve on on the uh, the lock on system. You always want to have everything narrowed down or whatever. I mean, look what type of game it is or whatever. So you know, it it it, it, it I couldn't see this game having problem with with the art style that it have or whatever or or, or or with the lock on. I can't see it having problems or whatever because of the art. style on the way that look it's not like it's a graphically enhanced game where it's going to mess up the mechanic of the game because the mechanic of the game move very fluently right so, you know i i'm not mad at that so you know it's everything right there on that part is is as i would say a okay right because i was i was hearing some people they were saying like the um the lock on is like like instead of um instead of like you know the traditional way of shooters like the um when, when you were in an area with somebody a lock you can lock on to the person where you follow them instead of them instead of you have to you know how the most shooters you got to actually aim it just kind of like lock on but to get away from the lock on like you jump through buildings or jump or go around the building like if somebody locking on to you go way up in the air you go across on the other building or you so it keep you constantly moving on on the case of you got to break the lock instead of just shooting the person so the lock on is like your extra chance to try to get away instead of being easy person to shoot you, it actually enhance your deep give you a defensive um of game plan that's like okay this person lock on me let me move out the way of this person let me dodge this way here let me shoot the wild right here let me jump inside this building here so it got to be that dynamic where you could jump through any wilds because you got to get away from a from a auto auto lock basically that's how I was taking it when um I was hearing about like the auto lock about the game. I mean, uh -huh. is it kind of is it kind of like that? And then it kind of indicates you when a, when a person um had an auto lock on you, like the, the screen or something, give you a little tint or red or something to say, or uh, in or uh, you being auto locked on. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah it does does that. Like uh, uh, quite a few games does that. GTA does that when you pull out the lock on. And, I mean, you got you pull out your missile, you trying to lock on track on and stuff the only way I, I can see like how sometimes it may not connect or whatever unless that character is being very smooth and swift with, with how they moving it, uh the analog stick through the games or whatever right. not to get caught up on a lock on i mean i, right. I think it's even balanced right because that kind of give it that extra dynamic to make you have to be like you say smooth and move so the game got to play like butter for you to be able to do that right <clears throat> that's the that's yeah that's the kind of impressions like um i got off of this hill so, but uh, let's go ahead and move on to um Savage, man. Um, so what what are your thoughts about Crackdown? You know what I'm saying? You think it's a good game, you want to get it, or is a game that you're not interested in? Um, your opening thoughts. Uh Crackdown really not my cup of tea. Huh? Yeah, um the I'm just saying, I'm I'm not saying I I saw it, it looked it looked good, but it's really not my cup of tea. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? I played the first two crackdown and they was way too easy for me. So they kind of left a bad taste in my mouth. That's really the reason why I really don't have a desire to play crackdown. I mean, I saw it, it looked good, you know what I'm saying? I, I can't take nothing away from it, you know what I'm saying? But it's just so basically not, it's just not your type of game. So yeah, it's, you just, wanna... it's just it's just not my type of game. Okay, yeah, I I feel that. I mean, you you fit in the category with you're not the person that's hating on the game because um, because the hate on the game, like how a lot of people are doing, your, your perspective is more of a general, like, okay, these are not your type of game. But if a person, if they like these type of games, it look like a fun type of game for the next man if he if this is his cup of tea. Yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah. Like some I'm people not, like, I'm, I'm not saying it's a whack game or nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I saw the footage of the game. It looked way better than the other two. I'm right. talking about a hundred times better than the other two, but I don't really want to just go out on a limb and play a game that I don't, you know what I'm saying? I'm really not sure about that. I really want to play. So it's just not me. 
I feel so, that man. I could, I could, I, yeah, I could respect, I could respect that because you know they just that that's that's that that's exactly how a gamer answer a question about a game that he don't like. That like some people don't like RPGs, and if they say a, a RPG that look like a good RPG, they're not gonna hate on it because they don't like RPGs. They're gonna say, oh, that's not my type of game. They that's why Xbox and um the games they're supposed to give you choices like different choices of different types of games and um. Speaking about uh, speaking about crackdown and um and on a delay, man, we got we got a, a person that ain't been in here a while, man. I don't you know you got your microphone together, everything good, cause you know what I'm saying, man. Kaleidoscope, man, what's good with your homie? Yo, chilling, chilling, man. I was just listening on the conversation of what Savage was talking about, man. Actually, I feel you on that one, Savage. Though I ain't like the first two crackdown games. <laughs> But this one actually looks a lot better. But yeah, everybody, what's up, man? It's Kaleidoscope. It's been a minute since I've been on this show, no doubt. Um, it's massive fucking snowstorm today. Um, but everything is good, man. Everything is good. <laughs> Reading the hell out of fucking comic books, bro. Man, so um, so so Kaleido, man, it's been a minute. So um, so what's been up with you? What you been on um, playing? What 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 comic books you been reading? You know, uh, let let the people that that's been watching the podcast that. That, that's a uh, Collider fan, um, you know, been saying what your um, boy been up to. All right, well, I've been playing some old shit, you know what I'm saying? Um, like Dragon Ball Fighters, um, Injustice. The only new shit I've been playing is the Resident Evil 2 remake. That's official. All right, so I can't complain about that. Um, I already have um, Crackdown 3, locked, cocked, and ready to roll, man. You know what I'm saying? So... <laughs> Once it comes down to that twelve o'clock midnight, I'm gonna be down. I'm gonna be on some crackdown. All right, and why? Because I actually enjoyed Infamous on freaking on the PlayStation not too long ago and whatnot. So I was like, all right, that this is right up my alley. You know what I'm saying? The dude is actually throwing cars the whole nine yards, blowing up the city. I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna definitely try it though. You know what I'm saying? I got the Game Pass, so we'll see how that rolls. Hey, right, so what do you think about the lock on system? You um, you heard how it, how it operate? It's like is the auto lock and let's say if you um if you get an auto lock on you like your screen uh, um kind of like do a little red tint around the end to let you know they got an auto lock and you got to actually dodge and move or uh, run around the building to break the lock or shoot through a building and jump inside of it to try to break the lock so two or three people locking on you or you jump way in and try to jump over a building and while you trying to lock on them you trying to break their lock at the same time like the different dynamic that they bring into this game to keep you on a go and keep you on the move instead of having to just sit there and try to snipe and aim. So what you think about the auto like system? That actually sounds dope. <laughs> <laughs> because once you notice that lock is on you, your ass is going to get the hell out of Dodge. <laughs> All right, so I feel that. Um, yeah, that sounds official, man. I, I know about that lock, though. But now that you broke it down for me right there, that mm. sounds dope. All right, because I know to get the previous game, at least the first one, had that lock system as well. But for you to lock on the enemy, all right, no, I'm saying like most games have, but to yeah. flip it around and have it where you feel that you get locked and whatnot, and then yeah. you got you got to juke and move and whatnot in order to break the lock. Yo, that's dope, man. That's like some football shit for for a video hey, game. You, you think about like with the um the destructibility where you got to blow blow the building or the building coming down, and you got to you try to run into why the building fall, and you try to run through the building. That way, the auto lock will break on about time the building crashes down to give you a chance to run around and, you know, just all different type of stuff you could do on the Yeah, track. I mean, you can easily juke the auto lock, though. Know what I'm saying? Just blast through a wall or smash through a wall and hide behind it. <laughs> right. See, like, I've been a lot of people that was like, oh, the auto lock is stupid. I don't know. You know, a lot of people, they was down talking it before they had a real good understanding of the, like I say, the implement uh, implementations that you could use for the auto lock. So it's going to be that, that sounds people. dope. I don't know why the hell they was complaining, yo. I really I I don't see why. The only the only reason they probably complaining either they're too stupid to know what the fuck is being explained or or that they pulling out that fanboy card, bro. <laughs> right, like the people that hate on the game just to hate on the game. Yep. Yeah, and it's so many of them people that do that is is ridiculous. Dude, if they would have implemented some shit like that in Infamous, man, Motherfuckers would have been yelling that shit from the rafters. Yo, yo, did I see that new mechanic? That shit is dope. But it wasn't an infamous, though. <laughs> right. That's something that infamous was missing out on. But, um, mm -hmm. yeah, that, that's, one of those, that's one of those things that, you know what I'm saying, is 
people people ain't gonna realize it until they get their actually until they get their actual hands on it. That's why Game Pass is so official. Like people that was on the edge, uh, you know, saying, "Boy, should they get it or should they not get it?" Well, if they have Game Pass, they are gonna download it anyway. Oh, that's that crackdown that people hate now. Let me try it for myself, and that and that's one of the good features about about having um having a system like that. Yeah, dude, it's looking official. I can't front, man. Uh, especially with that what that thing that you just broke down. I did not see that shit coming. All right, I thought it was like the same old cat crackdown mechanics. You know what I'm saying? It just looks a little bit better. I didn't know about that new lockdown, that that new um, lockdown mechanic. That shit is dope. Yeah, yeah, that shit gonna that, be that, that, that's a, that's actually a game changer, bro. Can you imagine you could actually implement that shit in, in other types of games? Can you imagine in Quantum Break when you knew that motherfuckers had you on lock? Dude, you would juke quick as hell. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, and do the um, do one of the special move you um, the bullets you can make them freeze and it's yeah, yeah, I'll, yeah that shit would that shit would be crazy. It, it's and, like um, it's like it's like spi it's like Spidey sense taken to the next level, all right? Because Spider Man, you know, his spider sense will go off and whatnot, right? So he'll basically just move real quick in order to avoid an incoming bullet, right? But these motherfuckers keep the lock on you, all right? Because freaking, know what I'm saying is that you can't just move because they still got you on lock. So you got to hide behind a car, behind a building, smash the walls, whatever, behind a truck. You know what I'm saying? You got to do some other things, next level shit. All right? So this is Spider-Man, Spidey Sense taken to the next level. Oh, hell yeah. That, that, that would be some fire-ass shit. But that, that is the crackdown and the reasons why some of the real gamers either like it or dislike it. Not this fanboy stuff that people have been hearing. That was just a true opinion. Now, um... Speaking about a true opinion, I want to ask y'all opinion about um about this Captain Marvel. 